What's up guys? Today's video is on the best budget graphics card. Through extensive research and testing, I've put together a list of options that'll meet the needs of different types of buyers, so whether it's price performance or its particular use, we've got you covered. For more information on the products, I've included links in the description box down below, which are updated for the best prices. Like the video, comment, and don't forget to subscribe. Let's get started. At number 7. Gigabyte GeForce GT 1030. Another sub dollar 100 graphics card option is this Gigabyte GeForce GT 1030. At just under $85, it is the most affordable option on this list. And, if you're working with a tight budget to build a new gaming PC or upgrade an older computer, a GT 1030 is an excellent option. At number 6. PNY GeForce GTX 1650. Another NVIDIA card that doesn't make it into our top picks due to the price it comes in at is the non-Super GTX 1650. The standard GTX 1650 costs close to the same amount as the RX 6500 XT. However, the RX 6500 XT provides quite a bit more performance than the GTX 1650. So, as of right now, the RX 6500 XT has a better price to performance ratio. Of course, with graphics card prices changing on a daily basis, it is worth taking a look at 1650 prices before you make your final decision. And, of the GTX 1650 options out there, this PNY card is a decent option. At number 5. Ivga GeForce GTX 1650 Super. While it might seem that I have something against NVIDIA cards based on this article, the reality is that, at the current price points, AMD cards seem to make. The GTX 1650 Super does provide a slight performance boost over the RX 6500 XT in most games, however it also comes in at or just above, $200. And, at that point, the GTX 1660 Super listed above would be a better option. However, if you're able to find a GTX 1650 Super for the same price, or cheaper, than the RX 6500 XT, then you'd probably be better off choosing it instead. And, if they do, this IVGA card would be one of the better options. It comes with a 1755 MHz base clock, 4GB of VRAM, and a dual fan configuration. It also measures in at 8.0 inches long. Overall, though, you can either spend a little more to get a better performing card, the GTX 1660 Super, or you can spend less and get virtually the same performance, RX 6500 XT, so, for now, the GTX 1650 Super is an honorable mention. At number 4. Power Color Radeon RX 550. If you don't have more than $100 to spend on a graphics card, you have a few options. As of right now, the best sub dollar 100 GPU is an RX 550. And, as of the time of updating this guide, the top sub dollar 100 RX 550 currently available is this low profile option from XFX. This card comes with a 1071 MHz base clock rate, 2 GB of VRAM, and a single fan cooling configuration. Due to the single fan configuration and low profile design, this RX 550 measures in at just 6.0 inches long. So, it's a great option for a budget-friendly mini gaming PC build. For performance, you can expect to run most games on a 1080p monitor on at least lower settings. For non-demanding games like League of Legends, this card will work just fine and for more demanding games, you can play on lower settings until you have enough money to upgrade to something more powerful. At number 3. XFX Radeon RX 6400. If you have a tighter budget and you can't spend more than, this XFX Radeon RX 6400 graphics card is a good option. The RX 6400 lags a bit behind both the GTX 1660 Super and the RX 6500 XT but it will still run most games on a 1080p monitor on at least medium settings. This card is also one of the shortest options on this list, sporting a low-profile design, and measuring in at 6.3 inches long. So, that would make it an excellent option for a smaller form factor system. It also comes with a 2321 MHz base clock rate and 4GB of GDDR6 VRAM. Overall, if you don't have the budget to get a GTX 1660 Super, an RX 6400 is probably your next best option. And, of the RX 6400s currently on the market, this XFX card offers the best price to performance as of the time of writing this article. At number 2. XFX Radeon RX 6500 XT. 
If you don't quite have $200 to spend, your next best bet is probably this Radeon RX 6500 XT from XFX. The RX 6500 XT isn't the GPU in the world and it even loses in benchmarks to older generation cards, like the RX 5500 XT. That's mainly due to the fact that it comes with a lower VRAM capacity, only 4GB of GDDR6 VRAM. However, the RX 5500 XT is difficult to find and the RX 6500 XT is readily available. So, while 4GB of VRAM may not be ideal, at this price point, it's still the best offering. At number 1. Zotac GeForce GTX 1660, the best budget graphics card. If you're looking for the best budget graphics card, then this GTX 1660 from Zotac is not what you're looking for. That's because it comes in at just slightly over $200. Thanks for watching. For more details, follow the links given below in the description section. And if you are new here, please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon.